people. And uh, he's, you'll notice he's got the shirt and tie on today. So he's not going to be doing any road work. But there's a whole bunch of it going on in White Township, isn't there, there Chris? Yeah, good morning, Todd. There's there's certainly a lot of road work, both from the township side and, and PennDOT, um, yeah. PennDOT construction work. Just everywhere you drive around town here, Wayne Avenue, you know, North 4th Street, um, even over here I saw on 9th Street there's some work. Um, we have work on Martin Road. There's just tons of construction going on. There good really weather. Is. Yeah. Wow. That, that, well, that's that's the key thing. Even with the amount of rain that we've had here in the last month, uh, there they're still working it because they haven't been hard rains. They've been uh, light enough rains that it hasn't turned into a mud bog, and so they're they're doing a lot of work. So let's go all around the township and see what's happening there today. You've got uh, all this construction work. Let's start on Martin Road. Yeah. So we had um, we we took we had uh, a rough portion of Martin, which was from from nine fifty four out to the railroad track. So we had that part of our paving project this year. So so that was completed. It's all all new road, all new surface. We put some stormwater pipes in. So Basically brand new. Um, the rest of Martin Road, it's it's pretty good shape. We have a couple couple cracking spots, a couple maybe potholes that uh, over the next week or two we're going to be you know cutting those areas out and, and repaving and doing some paving work on our own. Yeah, kind of get a couple more years out of that that section of road. Yeah, yeah, and and then I noticed yesterday because I hadn't been out um, in that direction for a while. West Pike heading out of town. Uh, and toward the YMCA, that's that's getting the treatment now too. Yeah, yeah. So we, um, our, our sewer crews, they they've been busy. There's there were some manholes. If 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 you can remember driving out West Pike, there were some manholes that um, your tire would hit. Um, that was part of the last paving project. So our crews are plan to put the the necessary risers in there to make them level with the roadway, so it'll be a smooth smooth surface when uh, PennDOT finally paves that. Yeah, that was. You always knew. <laughs> yeah, you, you certainly did always know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the stormwater work, you've got a bunch of that going on? Yeah, so there's always some stormwater work going on. The last couple of weeks we've did a little ditching, but um, one big in-house project we're going to complete this year is uh, Mill Run Road. And with, with some of this, this paving winding down on uh, the, the project and also Martin Road, they plan to move over to Mill Run and start putting in new catch basins and new stormwater pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that's old metal pipe that's, has some rust areas, some old brick inlets that are falling in, so that'll get a whole new, whole new stormwater infrastructure, and be paving it next summer. Now, there's pavement uh, that uh, that you guys do that in White Township. You say to yourselves, "All right, this road needs to be repaved. It's a township road. Let's let's put that on the schedule." And maybe it's this year, maybe it's next year, or mm -hmm. the year after. I mean, there's there's that regular schedule. When you hear from PennDOT, hey, we're going to be doing this section of road that passes through your your township. Uh, does that make you sort of sit up and say, hmm, what do we have along that road that we might be able to improve before they put new pavement down? Yeah, so a lot of our side streets or our intersections that come out onto those roads, we'll take a look at. And, and a lot of it, uh, a lot of uh, the, the overlap is our sewer system because we have a lot of man yeah. in the Pendar right away that that if they're going to do some paving, we, we take that as an opportunity to bring those up to you know, up the spec and, and, and get those repaired. And, and that way, when the pavement goes down, we're not worried about those over the next couple of years. Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, let's talk about, uh, we were just on 286, uh, the sewer project. Yeah, the, the sewer project was uh, slowed way down because of the rock. Um, <laughs> but I will say that the, the pump station is set now, and they're, they're kind of finishing up the final leg of the project. So should be, should be, all connected up and running here in the next couple months. How long did that take? Um, it was an 18-month contract, which takes them to the end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, they started later in the contract. They didn't start till last fall. So they've they've actually moved, made pretty good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With all that rock they run into, mm -hmm. you never know. And it's deep. I mean, some of them sewers are 25 feet deep out there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it is wow. big hole, really big holes. Wow, I didn't know that. All right, so yeah, that's that's very very deep, uh, and and of course it's summertime, uh, so that means that grass grows uh, along our roadways, and and that has to be mowed off. You have to make good sight lines for folks. Yeah, and it's 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 always every year um, we try to get ahead of the mowing of the roadways, and and it just we we have uh, you know employee that's dedicated to the the tractor and out there mowing the roadways, and it just mm -hmm. grows too fast for us to keep mm -hmm. up with. With the the mileage of road we have, and then also this year we had about seven days or so that the tractor was down for repairs. Oh yeah, yeah, we couldn't <laughs> couldn't do the repair in house, so we sent it out to Manor Motors out in Penrun. So 
Um, it was scheduled to be back today or tomorrow, so we'll be back out there mowing as soon as, as soon as we're able to. <laughs> you can't wait to get that thing back. Yeah, Man. get out there and start mowing. Yeah, my goodness gracious. Some long days in the tractor, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, do some night mowing. Who, who will know? <laughs> yeah, you're here. All right, so that's what's going on on and around our roadways uh, with uh, with uh, White Township. Of course, there are other things happening within the township. Uh, at the recreation complex, of course, uh, there's there's always something going on. And uh, you've got the playground project, uh, uh, which is, uh, I understand, uh, very, very nicely done. You've got the amphitheater thing going on there. Uh, and, and you had a big baseball tournament there last weekend, too. Yeah, start with the, the, the playground. The playground, the, the, the trails are all paved. The, the parking spaces, a couple extra ones are paved there. We have um, the mulch down under the swings. We have the rubber coating underneath the, you know, the, the swing sets. Or not, not swing sets, but the, the rope climbing tower. And we did um, some backfilling with some topsoil, some grass seeding. And just we got ahead of this, these last couple of rainstorms, so the grass is growing out there. Um, so that that playground is is open. Um, it's 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 busy. It's being used, and, and we yeah. encourage everybody to go out and, and, and check it out. Um, soccer fields up there. They they took the time to, to reseed those and aerate them, so they'll be ready here when I think the travel soccer kicks off here in the next couple of weeks. So so that's good. Um, we have <clears throat> kind of the second phase of that playground project is paving of our parking lot. Area oh, yeah. There. yeah, so we're going to be paving the front parking area and adding some some landscape islands to handle some stormwater out there. So um, I'm not sure that's going to be a fall project, maybe an early spring project, but but that's something to look forward to. Um, baseball tournament, I believe this was our second one out there. We uh, we had like eight or nine teams out there this past weekend that, that were playing. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't know the results, but um, I, I certainly was a, was a busy um, we had good reports of the festival a couple weeks ago that, that was held out there. We have a couple other festivals planned up for the fall and, and winter. So certainly, certainly busy out there. And, yeah. And, and, and pair that with our recreation programming that's, that's filling up for fall now. It's yeah. going to be a busy place. Is there summer league basketball this year or there? Uh, I'm sure there is. There, there's, it's been there for the last how many years, yeah. but, but it's, uh, well, it's but, a nice court. It is. It's that outdoor facility. It, it's there. very it's nice. nice. Very, very nice. And, and, and you know, if people haven't been out to the White Township Recreation Complex. You've you've got uh, tennis courts, you've got basketball courts, you've got um, uh, people who uh, the baseball fields, of course. You got a big twelve U championship, or rather, a youth legion championship game happening there tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's there's just all kinds of things to do. Uh, and oh, by the way, there's the, there's the S and T Bank Arena. Uh, which, uh, you know, in the summertime we think about outdoor things, uh, but uh, there's always something going on indoors. If there's not a competition or an event inside, then there's maintenance and, and getting ready for the upcoming ice season. Yeah, and and, and to be honest, I mean, we're, we're a month away from ice here, so it's it's coming fast. And w- one other project we have is we, we pr- we're going to purchase flooring for the turf side, a portion there. Mm-hmm. Um we we need, still need to, to put out some bids for 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 the install there, but the plan is to have pickleball courts inside and also potential basketball court inside over on that. Oh yeah, yeah, on the the turf side. So, um, would that be portable? It is. You can take it up if you if you, if you really need to. But yeah. but our plan is to kind of utilize. We're going to remove some of the hockey bo- deck boards that are there, mm-hmm. and that opens up a lot of square footage there for sure. for some of this flooring to be laid down. So, um going to be a multi-use, you know, pickleball, yeah. tennis, yeah. Uh, any any basketball thing. So it it just add another little little niche out there for us. Speaking of pickleball, of course you have it outdoors in White mm-hmm. Township right now too. How yeah. I mean we we'd heard last year that uh, it was very very popular at the beginning. I'm assuming uh that it's even more popular now. Yeah, it's real popular. We um it's always busy. It's Kennedy to King Park up there and we have uh um, you know, it's, it's in use every day. And we did recently just did a, a resurfacing project there where we did, we put a new surface down for them. And mm. we, we do have a little patch that, that must have had too much sand in the mix that it's starting to, to, to peel a little bit. It's just a small area. So we plan to get in there and they make some acrylic patch material that we're going to get in there and kind of fix that. And we got some windscreens up for, for them, but I mean, it's every day. Yeah. It's really every day. It's yeah. busy up there. People, people love playing pickleball. Yeah, right. we. Oh, good. You got recreation commission tonight. No, we have planning commission. Planning commission tonight. Yep. I'm sorry. Yeah, 
Yeah. We have a couple items in the on the agenda. I, I think the, the the big one that I hear around town is uh, we do have a Texas Roadhouse on the Planning Commission agenda for this evening. Mm-hmm. Um, billboard um, off Indian Springs Road is another one, and, and and then one minor subdivision. So it's yeah. a little busy agenda for this evening. Yeah, well, Texas Roadhouse is something that people have been talking about for a long time. There have been some other restaurant franchises that have – uh, either advanced a little and not come to fruition yet, uh, or that people have been talking about. And uh, Texas Roadhouse is is one that we've we've heard about. There are others that might be coming as well. Yeah, there's always there's always um, you know restaurants or, or developments that are that are looking into the area and, and doing their research and throwing out some conceptual plans that that really the one they say uh, you know they 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 plan to move forward with it or they or they. Say okay, maybe we're gonna we're gonna hold back. And and at this point, Texas Roadhouse has a really nice land development application that they did submit with a, with a good plan set. So um, we we have, certainly have that one on the on the table. And then uh, and and as you know, you know, Josh mentioned earlier this morning, the the Panera and the Applebee's are still um, they're still on the table as well for that that same yeah. area out there on two eighty six and so. Oakland Avenue. Sometimes that, you know, you hear a name and you say to yourself, all right, it's opening tomorrow. Um, it takes a while for these things because they're really exploratory. When you yeah, it does. Out. It takes a while by the time you get your permits lined up and your, your engineering and your stormwater yeah. and your sanitary sewer planning. It's it's a process. Supervisors tomorrow afternoon? Yep, 1 o'clock tomorrow at the municipal building. Very good. He's Chris Anderson, White Township Manager. Thanks for coming yep. in. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS.